What's up guys, JJ here and it is time for another FM Virtual Stadium Tour. That's right, I'm back feeling better than ever, so let's get on with it. And as some of you may have already guessed, today we are taking a look around the Jalisco, the home stadium of -na -na -na, Atlas FC in the League MX, obviously the Mexican League. Um, it was the home of Guadalajara until 2010 when they moved out, so this may more be known more famously as the home of Guadalajara FC. Anyway, as always for you, the uh, my first fact in this stadium for you, or I suppose it's the second or even third today, uh, after I've told you which clubs play here, is the overall capacity of this stadium. It does hold 63,163 fans when it is fully, when it's at full capacity. But anyway, let's take a look around the stadium now, and while we're doing that, I will just see if I can take you through the history of this stadium. Um, as I've already said, it hosted the home games with Guadalajara until 2010 when they moved out, but it's actually been the home stadium of Club Atlas as well for a long time. Um, both of those clubs play in the Mexican First Division, or the Liga MX. It does also host a few games of Club University de Guadalajara as well, so the university football team sometimes plays in this stadium. Um, it was built... Excuse me, I'm just getting my notes up here. It was built in... Uh, it, 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 they started construction on November 20th, 1952 and was actually opened in 1960. It was renovated in 1970 for the World Cup, of course, just to make it that bit bigger so that it could host matches there. It also hosted major renovations in 1999 just to update the stadium a bit and bring it into the 21st century. Um, or I suppose it would have been the 20th century back then. Um, it cost 34 million Mexican whatever monies it is to build, and I have absolutely no idea how much that is in pounds or dollars or euros. So I'm absolutely sorry about that. I should have done the um, should have done the maths beforehand. But anyway, as I've already stated, it holds 63,000 fans, and uh, it's it's hosted matches at both World Cups, the 1970 and 1986. World Cups. I believe though it only hosted group stages. Apart from that, um, apart from that, during those World Cups this stadium was the I suppose temporary home of the Brazil national team. I think they played uh, several matches throughout both World Cups here. Um, and it's actually it's actually located in the in the heart of the neighborhood called Colonia Independencia uh, in front of some quite historic buildings. In, in Mexico, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's in Mexico City. I may well be wrong, but uh, yeah, that's it really. Um, it, it hosted the home matches of two major League MX teams until recently when they moved out, when one of them moved out. It's not really got a lot of history, I suppose it's not when you compare it to the Azteca which is the other huge stadium in Mexico it's really kind of undermined because the Azteca is so huge and has all this history but apart from that I mean that's all I've got to say on it really short video um, apologies if I got anything wrong but uh, yeah it's got to it's got to an odd state where I have to apologize in case I've got stuff wrong in my videos but anyway apart from that thanks for watching please hit us up on Facebook and Twitter at FM Stadium Tour, you can find us there. Please hit like and subscribe on this video on YouTube because it does help me out hugely. You can also visit our website. I've managed to get it up and running. It's at www.fmvirtualstadiumtour.com or fmstadiumtour.com. And apart from that, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Later's.